What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2023 Hit Parade Football Autograph Limited Edition Series 10 just sold out. This is another dual case break, random teams, number two. And again, guys, this is our last two cases here. We do have another series up, number 11, which is a brand new checklist and all stuff like that, sell sheet hits. So obviously you're looking for some of these bigger hits. It's not loading, but these bigger hits there. Um, so here we go. Here's a dice roller. Here's a cousin. My name's from Victor down to Russell. Got those straight up. Everybody else won those from Chronicles Pack for 10 and 11. There's the teams. So roll. Four and a two. Six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Tristan, then a Justin. All right. Six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dolphins down to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Six. All right, so Tristan with the Dolphins, uh, Peter with the Falcons, Kenneth with the Texans, Justin with the Seahawks, David with the Ravens, Will with the Eagles, Tristan with the Jets, William with the Lions, Mark with the Cardinals, Russell with the Patriots, Brian with the Packers, Kenneth with the Bucks, Russell with the Commanders, David with the Browns, Ryan with the Vikings, Jason with the Bills, David with the Raiders, Kenneth uh, with the um, Panthers and Chiefs, Eric with the Colts, Jason with the Bears, uh, Jason Parker that is, Jason B., with the Chargers, Victor with the 49ers, David with the Bengals, Willing with the Jags, David with the Cowboys, Kenneth with the uh, Broncos, Brian with the Rams, Jason with the Saints, David with the Giants, Josh Bruce with the Titans, and Justin Beer with the Steelers. So if anybody wants to make any trades, I'll give you guys a quick minute. Dude, that was crazy, man. But honestly, I, I really don't believe he touched it. Although some angles may show it, but obviously, man, I mean, they took a long time reviewing that. There was no definitive, like, yes, it hit the stick, you know? So, I mean, I, again, what's funny is that, like, people are focusing on that play, right? But honestly, the Oilers still didn't clear out the puck after that, and, like, 20, 30 seconds passed by, and then, obviously, the Kings scored. So, I mean, obviously... You know, worry about that, but first of all, you shouldn't have got a power play, right? You shouldn't have given up a penalty, and then after that, couldn't couldn't clear the puck. So I don't know. It, at the end of the day, they reviewed it for so long that there just wasn't full full evidence to prove it. You know, and I don't I don't believe it, man. Honestly, it looks like it did, but I really don't think so. You can say, yeah, the puck was moving this way, the puck was moving that way, but it's just like I don't know, man. It just there's no proof of it, like. Fully 100%. And I think it's so funny that the coach was just like, well, when the best player in the world is standing three feet away and he says he touched it, then I'm going to go with him. <laughs> it's like, okay, dude. Like, So whatever Conor McDavid says is what happens. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's not like they didn't review it and there was conclusive evidence. They, they took a long time reviewing it. So whatever. I mean, hey, maybe you want to call it lucky bounce for us, fine, but... I mean, Oilers, again, shouldn't have given up a power play. No. I loved it, man. Uh, it's ESPN. It's like that John Bougergrass that does, like, Sports Center. He does hockey one during now, obviously, with that, with that ESPN. So, TNT commentators are, are definitely much better. They were excited for both teams. So, I was watching Bally's for a little bit, but I kind of switched it over because I kind of liked that announcer that was announcing the game on TNT. He's called a lot of playoff games uh, in the NHL before and um, called a couple Kings playoffs games back like in the Stanley Cup run. So um, I kind of liked watching his his uh, his commentating for sure. So yeah, much better. I think TNT's announcers are so much better. It's the ESPN ones that are just really just, you know, drooling over McDavid.
But yeah, they they didn't realize nothing. They didn't realize the the challenge or the the play was even being reviewed because honestly, I don't even think the refs were even thinking about that. It wasn't until like McDavid started talking about it that they were like, oh okay, well, I guess we could take a look at it, right? And then that's when they started looking at it. All right, Jason. Well, I don't see anybody here, man. So I think I'm going to close the trade window for you, buddy. Try to trade code and trade Mojo. Here we go, guys. All right, guys, here we go. Deshaun Watson to start us off. Patch autograph here for the Houston Texans, six out of 15. Houston Texans that's going to Kenneth. Amonra, St. Brown, little Raider rookie, uh, clearly Donners. Try Lions William. And Derek Henry, dual relic and autograph to forty nine. I've been hearing a big rumors from uh, a couple of uh, people. That share a, a a an agent with Derrick Henry that Eagles to uh, Derrick Henry to the Eagles. I was like, what? I don't know if how he wants to spend ten million dollars on that guy, but if they want to go all in, I guess. I don't know. I, I love Derrick Henry, but obviously he's a downhill runner. If they're gonna run the option with him. I don't think it's gonna work. I mean, we had a Demarco Murray that was a downhill runner like him, and it did not work out. But I mean, I guess King Henry is a little different. I guess they can run power for him. And then we got a Nick Chubb rookie titanium to $299. Uh, that is a Browns David. Well, I think the way it could work is that the Eagles would trade the number 10 pick to the Titans, which I think are just one or two picks behind us. And then the the value of trading up to like number 10 for the titans is basically like equivalent of giving up like a player with a bigger salary so i think that's how they were thinking of how it would work with the eagles you know 
Yeah. Basically swap picks and then throw in Derrick Henry in there, and then we take on his last year of his salary, and then it's off your books, kind of deal. Well, a little AJ Brown, nice canvas creations out of forty nine. Fly goes fly. Will. I don't know. We'll see. That was just weird though. This this guy that's never broken news before, like was like Derek Henry of the Eagles. I'm just like okay. And people started reacting to it like what? What does this guy know? Nice, a little Brock Birdie. Is that a little cell sheeted? I think it was. Yeah, there we go. 49ers. That is from Illusions. And that looks like it's not numbered. But hey, we'll take it. A little Brock Birdie, 49ers. Victor. Christian Watson, another one from Illusions. This time, this one's numbered to 99. That's Green Bay Packers. Brian K. Put that one. DJ Moore, select Carolina Panthers, little rookie, auto to 99. Carolina Panthers, that's Kenneth. Desmond Ritter for the Atlanta Falcons. Little patch autograph from Phoenix to 299. Atlanta Falcons, that is Peter Eng. And last one here, guys, and then we got case number two. Najee Harris, on card Origins Auto, Steelers, Justin Beard. What's up, Rex? Como estas? All right, next case, guys. So again, if you didn't hit in case one, don't worry. There's still second case. That is the beauty of the dual casers. But after this, of course, there's no more. So hopefully, you do hit here. What's up, John? How are you, man? How are you, actually? I feel like it's been a little bit. I'm doing well, man. We have a star signs, Drake London. Drake London. Atlanta Falcons. Peter with that one. Oh, nice. No, no problem. Hey, thank you. All good. Well, I hope all is well, man. Patch autograph Christian Watson. Look at all that. It's like sparkle. Woo! 
Uh, that is number to 50. 25 out of 50. Another one there for the Packers, Brian. Yeah, I think Joe's good too. I think he was, uh... He went out of town this weekend. He was visiting, like, a friend. I think for the most part, yeah. Just playoff hockey, like always now around this time. NBA playoffs. Baseball's back, so... We have George Kittle. Patch autograph from Obsidian. 22 out of 25. Nice break there for the 49ers. Right? I didn't know Joe had friends, huh? <laughs> I thought we were his only friends. And a Justin Jefferson. It's not a sell sheet here right now. That is a dual relic and autograph PSA 9 rookie jersey ink to 150. Minnesota Vikings going to Ryan. All right, so we pulled the Purdy. I don't know what else we pulled in the first two cases that we did for Pikachu, uh, Ryan team number one, but there's actually more than those uh, five, six previews. I think there's like about 10 previews, one per case, so. If we don't pull one of those five cards, most likely it was another card that Nick just didn't put in a collage. Thurman Thomas, 15 out of 20. For sure, man. Yeah, I definitely will. Yeah, he's... My day's here. I'm only here a couple days, and then I'm on IG, so... I'm here Friday, Saturdays, and he's here mostly Sunday through Thursday. I come in Wednesday mornings if there's a release, like Bowman this Wednesday and stuff like that, but... Yeah. No problem, man. Take care, buddy. And a NT. Keenan Allen Colossal. Is that a rookie? 2015. No, I think he's like a 2013 rookie, actually. So maybe not. It's like a second, third year. 7 out of 25. Uh, Chargers going to Jason B. My right, four more to go, guys. All right, four minutes left. Toronto needs a goal to tie it up to force overtime. And we have a Kenneth Walker. The third, 58 out of 75. Oh, Seattle Seahawks. That is going to uh, Justin. Tatis is back and got his first home run today. Nice. He was raking it in the minors, so. Jalen Waddle. Obsidian lightning strike to 100. That's Miami Dolphins, Tristan. All right, two left, guys. Monra, same Brown, Obsidian to 199. Lions with him. Alright, guys, down to the final box. Good luck. So I'll try to see if I can pull up what Series 10 one is before I show. Let's see if uh, we hadn't got the right one yet. Oh, you know what? It was the Justin Jefferson. That was the preview out of this case. 
So that Justin Jefferson must have been the biggest hit, which is going to Ryan. And for the Raiders, Josh Jacobs. Two color patch and auto. Raiders. Raiders is David Dolly. Alrighty, guys. So, again, that Justin Jefferson was the chaser for the second case. So, like I said, usually there's 10, one per case. So, obviously, you guys seen that one. And then I don't think Nick previewed that one. Not that one. Had that one. Had that one. Didn't have the CD Lamb. Then Daniel Jones, amongst others. So, yeah. There you go, guys. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I know there's going to be a handful of hitless customers as there is only 20 cards, 32 teams. But appreciate it, guys. We have another one in the store, but this is going to be Series 11, so it's a brand new series. Uh, obviously, check out those. It looks like Nick tried to fit all of them on this one. But I think that's why he probably doesn't put them all just because, like, the collage just doesn't look so good. But, yeah. I mean, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so it looks like he put almost all 10 of them. So, yeah. Definitely chase that, guys. Oh, did they score? Wow, they did. Tied it up. So, appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.